Part two. Here's part two. I think there will be some more items coming later today, but I at least wanted to get this filmed now so I could take this out to the barn today and hopefully ride depending on how I feel, but I still don't feel 100%. Um, obviously, got a place to order at Dover and I needed a another girth. Um, the one that I have, my professional's choice girth I have that I use on Renita with my CWD saddle, which is now the saddle that I use on 10. Well, it was the saddle I used on 10 for jumping, but now it's primarily his jumping saddle. I'm not using it on Renita anymore. Um, I got a, um, <laughs> this is like totally ripped, but whatever. This is... I didn't have a 48, so I got a 50, which I think is good because the one I have for Anita is a 54 and that fits her pretty well, but it's even on the top holes, it's too loose for 10. So I got a, just a professional's choice, um, detachable liner. I like these girths a lot. They seem to go pretty well on them. They don't slip that much. Unless the saddle doesn't fit, then it slips. Um, but I got this in a 50 for 10 for his saddle. So, got that. The next item I got. <gasps> Weird. I just, like, literally I'm about to open this and I'll tell you why I just did that in just a second. Because it's freaking Weird. <laughs> really weird. So... On Friday, Debbie was doing a training ride on 10 and I was holding him while she went to go get her spurs and he had a swollen, like literally like down here where mine is like underneath his jaw. He had, it felt like one of those fatty tumors, like kind of what this feels like, but mine doesn't move. His moved. Maybe this is like, um... Like when husbands have pregnancy symptoms, like when their wives are pregnant. Maybe I'm getting the same thing from 10. I don't know. But anyway, I was talking to Debbie about it and we think maybe they had picked something up at the show. So I got these from Valley Vet just as a precaution because I am taking Ted and Renita to a show on Sunday. Um, I got the Vitalize Equine Recovery, um, just kind of like an immunity booster, um, just like a recovery gel. So I got six of them so I can give two to each horse just, just in case, because I do like share tack and stuff like that. Um, so I got six of these from Valley Vet. I think they were like $13 a piece. Um... Yeah, so one tube goes to them, but hopefully this will. None of them seem like sick by any means, but I guess you can never be too too cautious because 10 had a little bit of a cough on Thursday, but I it was like three coughs and I hadn't heard him do it since. So just to be safe, um, I got those. And music back to take with me from Valley Vet. I also got a rasp. And I got this because I am planning on removing all of the back shoes off the rest of my horses. Tens are already gone. But kind of in the meantime, when they start kind of crumbling a little bit, um, I want to be able to just kind of take that crumbly piece off without like tearing it off. So I'm just going to kind of 
file it down a little bit. Um, and don't worry, I am going to talk to my farrier when he comes out. I told him I was buying one, so he's going to kind of show me the safe way to use this. So I'm not just going in there without having any idea of what I'm doing. <laughs> Before people in the comments go, ah! Um, anywho, let's see. This is from hypo store this took forever to get here i ordered this like weeks before i got or before i even went to the um april the arch the rated show that dressage show that i did um, which if you follow me on instagram you would have seen everything already i've been so slacking on youtube videos like so bad i, I don't even want to look and see when the last time i posted a video was <laughs> Yeah. Um, but I'll have quite a bit more time coming May 1st, which is really exciting. Um, but yes. So, what do I have in here? Ah, okay. Oh, I totally forgot I bought this. So, I got this for Zeke. This is the Kentucky horseware. Um, see, this is this is why he had that white bonnet on because this did not come yet, and that's the only one that I have in like a size big enough to fit him. Really, that was not like a super bright color. Um, so I ended up getting this. I'm very, very, very excited. I literally forgot like basically what I ordered in this order. So this is gonna be kind of like a uh, super fun. Um, Oh, I got that either. Anyway, um, so this is a soundproof, soundproofer, um, bonnet, and it's from Kentucky Horseware. It's got the, like, glitter tape. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Like, this is, this, this is literally, like, a bonnet made of dreams. So, I'm really excited to have this for him in his next rated show. It actually does look a little small, um, but I think it'll be okay. The Kentucky horse one, wear one that I have, um, I can put on 10 Renita or Zeke. It's a little big on 10, but um, the ears are stretchy, so they end up fitting Renita and Zeke really, really well. I find that the soundproof ones, the ears are obviously a little bit more structured. They're not, I mean, this has a little bit of stretch to it, but not it wouldn't be super comfortable if their ears didn't fit in it. So, um, this is honestly just beautiful. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to use this. And I believe that's some kind of like me. I don't know. It's going to look great with his, um, with his brow band. Um, next thing I got, and I'm really excited to try this for either for Renita. We'll see what she she thinks about this. Um, it's the Acavallo Sensitive Bit. Um, it is not like a let's say ribbed one, but it's a smooth mouthpiece. Um, Anti-allergen plastic material instead of heavy and or cold metal or metal alloy. It's slightly arched and flattened mouthpiece ensures the pressure on the tongue draw. Eh, ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. It enhances the confidence of the rider's hands because of its quiet, comfortable mouthpiece helping to ba ba ba. So I'm, I'm gonna try this on 10 and Renita in hopes that I can use this for them over fences, but it um, <laughs> looks like this. It's a lot harder than I was expecting, like, and yeah, it's just, it's a lot, it's a lot harder than I was expecting. Um, I can I, I'm going to have to file this down. There's this little piece right here. I mean, it, it's got a little bit of a catch to it. So I'm going to file that down before I put that in their mouth, which 
and there's there's like a couple there's like a couple sharp pieces here too so i'm gonna file this down a little bit like the edges just to make sure that it's smooth and not painful for them but i'm gonna try this see how it goes it may not work at all it may work amazing we'll see um okay so next thing that i got was is very pretty. Mitch. Is a obviously a um, curb bit, way mouth bit for a double bridle for ten, which I thought this came as a set, but I guess it it didn't. Sorry, like I'm not super energetic. I still just do not, I wasn't really able to eat anything yesterday, so I'm still just a little, uh. oh, here it is. Such an idiot. So I got him a double bridal set. I didn't get anything super expensive, honestly, because I just don't know that he's going to be interested like how he's going to do with it so I didn't want to buy anything super expensive like a really really expensive $300 way mouth bit this is really lightweight which is nice and it's like that German silver I think uh well it's Caprian. It's an alloy of copper, zinc, and silicone nickel free copper provides an excellent oxidation uh, oxidization um, but yeah, they're made by both the same brand. I want to say it was like maybe like 70 something, but it's like a baby one, you know, like it's, it's very, very, um, very baby. So I got that for 10. It's crazy that I'm like buying a double bridle for him, which I guess yeah, I did end up getting a, a, a double bridal. Um, and again, I did not want to get anything super expensive because I don't know that he's going to be, going to be like, you know, I don't want to buy a super expensive bridal for no reason. You know what I mean? So, um, I did have to buy an anatomical crown piece though because of just in general how he, his pole and his pole injury that he had had. Um, I did get a size cob because that's the size that he wears. Take some tea. Um, this actually feels like pretty good quality. Um, it's from the brand called Harry's Horse. It's their basic collection. Um, it's got the white piping. It came with a crystal brow band, which it's patent. It's not the most gorgeous looking patent. I honestly would, I probably would change the brow band out, but I'm probably going to change the brow band out, but this is the brow band. I mean, the leather quality feels really, really nice. It's really soft. Um, the patent on here is actually pretty nice. Um, it's got the crank nose band. And yeah, so I'm going to put these together. Um, and put these on. Okay, so I have the bit on the bridle and obviously I don't have it fitted to him yet but um this is what it looks like I will say um if you are buying a bridle like this brand new um and say you're doing it at a show I would probably put gloves on while you're doing this because as you can see there is like dirt or like staining, I suppose, from the leather of this bridle coming off onto my fingers. So that's not cool. 
Um, but I probably just need to clean it or I should have just cleaned it first, but I don't have any of my cleaning stuff here. It's all at the barn. Um, so I'll clean it once I get there. Um, but it does come with two sets of reins, which is really cool because a lot of double bridles do not. And you have to, and a lot of times people like to choose their own reins anyway, but they came with um, a pair of web reins and they just obviously are plain web reins and then just like a set of double bridle curb reins. So I'm going to put those on and then this bridle will be all set up. Okay, so here it is. Reins are all on. It is brown because obviously his dressage saddle is brown, but here is Tim's double bridle. His first big boy bridle. I'm so excited. Um, I mean, I don't think we'll be competing in it for quite a bit, but he's hopefully will be solid second level through the end of this year going into third level. So third level obviously is when you can use a double bridle. Um, I wouldn't say that he needs it because he's heavy or um, anything like that, but it does give quite a bit more precision than just a snaffle. Um, but you do lose a little bit of like, if you're trying to work on lateral, like flexing, this is not the bridle to do it in. So um, this is the bridle to work on straightness in, which is actually what we need to work on more. So, um, I did get it and we'll see what Debbie says, but I may just put him in it, let him walk around in it, like not even get on him, just kind of let him get used to having it because I have a feeling he's going to be like, ah, his mouth is probably gonna be wide open, but whatever. All right. And last but not least... I got these. They are the free jump. Um, this is in a different language. I'll have to go online and read the, what's up about them. But um, they're like the shock absorption ones. These are actually extremely light. Um, they're a lot lighter than what I thought they were going to be. Um, but they're shock absorption. And they've got the wide footbed, which I do really like. Um, but my... Um, they're not jointed. But with the shock absorption, I'm hoping it will help with my knees a little bit and my ankles while I'm riding. Um, they do have the spikes. So I got them in the brown color just because I think that's the only one that they had left. Um, truthfully, I didn't really care too much. I mean, it's so very minute that you don't see it anyway. So um, I had originally gotten these for Renita's saddle, but her saddle is black. So, I don't know. We'll see. I may switch them out and see if I like them better on my CWD or if I like them better on the Silhouette Saddle that I got for Renia. But I got these. So, these are the free jump ones. They are angled and they are twi like they've got the offset eye. Um, so, they've got a 30 degree angle. So, how they will lay in the stirrups is like this. So they've got the angle, which will help um, one. And not that I have an issue keeping my heels down, but sometimes I feel like I force them down too much and then it ends up hurting, especially with um, shorter length stirrups. So I'm hoping these will, will kind of help with that because it'll naturally put my foot there and keep me from kind of like trying to force it there. Um, but yeah, they're super, they honestly feel super cheap. <laughs> if, I mean, they weren't, I think they were like 180, which is pretty good compared to what they cost on a non-UK website. Um, and I did get free shipping, so that was cool. So the Hypo Store websites, if you, um, if you order from there, 
Um, typically you get free shipping if you order a certain amount. Um, there was a coupon code at one point, but like, I mean, I ordered this stuff over a month ago, so it's not, I've already been on the website and it's not active anymore. Um, and I don't, and some brands you don't get discounts on anyway, but it's worth it for the weight because everything's quite a bit cheaper, like getting into the United States than from the UK. So Okay, I wanted to hop on here real quick because I realized, I realized as I was editing this video, I missed some things. So I did get, and I'll put a picture of it Yeah, and I'll show Renita in a picture of it Yeah, um, I got the HDR figure eight bridal in black off Dover. And that was obviously to match my new black jump saddle. So I got that for her. Um, so it's this one, the one that I just showed. And I also got the HDR five point breastplate in black. Although when I ordered it, it I ordered it in navy and it came in in this green color, which whatever, it's fine. I needed it, so I used it. Um, if the color really bothers me that much later on, then I'll get a new one and sell this one. But um, yeah, so this is her in both of them. I did get those. The uh, bridal runs really large, like really, really large. At least the horse size does. I got the horse size and it runs big on her and she's got a pretty big head. I mean, she's, she can fit in an oversized bridal. Um, so got that got the breastplate which I got in a size cob because the horse size from what I remember was way too big and so I ended up getting the cob size and she's on the last hole on all of it and I think she probably needed the horse size but I can make it work I just cannot make it any looser than it already is but I think it'll stretch out a little bit as I oil it and condition and everything and kind of get the leather to stretch out a little bit so I'm not too worried about it, but again, if I am, I'll just sell it and get a new one. But the last thing I got in that order from Dover was this cross country pad. So this is like the Dover version of the Eco Gold ones, which I have the Eco Gold one in um, Royal Blue. So I have that one already, but I, w I needed to get another one for 10 because when I'm taking both of these horses to USCA events, I don't want one to wear like a really nasty sweaty pad after like cross country because they're going to be sweaty as heck. So I ended up getting, um, getting her or him. I don't know. I don't know who's going to wear what. This one in navy. So it's very similar to the Eco Gold. Um, this is kind of like a memory foam. So both of the saddles fit my horses really, really well. So I think that's probably going to be pretty good. Um, I don't think I'll need a half pad, but it's kind of like a non-slip. I mean, this down here, they're going to get sweaty. It's going to slip. There's nothing that's going to keep the saddle there when they get that sweaty. I mean, you can get all these non-slip pads and you can get all that. But if there's sweat underneath there, it's going to slip. So <laughs> um, that's what why I use a breastplate when I'm doing like big jumping and stuff like that. So got this cross country pad in Navy. I thought I had meant to get it in white, but I got it in Navy. So I think I may get it in white or I'll get the cross country, the eco gold one in, in um, the green color to match the breastplate because that would actually look pretty cool. Cause I have that green jacket. So I don't know. We'll see. We could do that for show jumping, but whatever. So got that. And then the last thing I got, these actually I got from Riding Warehouse. And these are the Weather Beta cross country boots. And they are the hind boots because I have the front boots from a previous tack haul that I got on sale from like my, my local tack shop. And I had been looking for the hind version of these. And I liked that they were white because I have the Magic Keep, the black set with um, the royal blue. So that obviously matches my royal blue eco gold pad. But these are the hind ones to match the white ones that I already have. So just wanted to show you guys those. Got those 
just wanted to insert those before I hung, put them in my trunk and hung the crowd up. Okay, so I got a couple more packages that came today. So we'll finish this, this up because everything else, there's a couple more things on back order. I just don't know how long it's gonna take. Um, this I got off eBay. Um, and I'm hoping it will work for Zeke. Um, it is an egg butt um, lozenge bit. <laughs> it's just a bit, but it's different than the egg butt that I have because it's a little thinner here. So when it, it breaks like this, um, it kind of lays a little flatter on the tongue and he's got a pretty thick tongue. So this one's just a little bit thinner than the one that I already have. Um, and then the lozenge is a little bit thinner as well. So that is what I got. I got it off eBay. Um, there's a bunch of like German silver bits on there that actually are really, really good. Um, so I'm hoping this one will work for his snaffle bridle since the one I've been using is Debbie's um, and I cannot find it anywhere. It's a miler bit, so I'm still looking, but I thought, I mean, this was only like 30 bucks, so I thought I would try it in hopes that it would work. Um, so that was off eBay, which I will try this time. I'm normally so busy and I feel like such a jerk for not putting the stuff down in the description bar for you guys, but, um, yeah. Oh, well, this actually isn't horse related, but I'll throw it in anyway because <laughs> it's in here. Um, okay, I, you know, one of those really weak moments on Instagram. One of those really weak moments on Instagram, so... You basically like you can it's it's supposed to like help get rid of cellulite whether or not that actually happened I don't know but I was one of those nights where I was like oh my god I feel really fat and so you basically just do this all over your body <laughs> Um, yeah, so if anything, I think it'll increase circulation. So supposedly you can do it on your, on your neck. Ow. Ow. Probably shouldn't do that because my lymph node's really swollen still. So yeah. Um. <laughs> so yeah. I got that though. I was wondering if this, I kind of forgot about it and then I was like, I need to go and look and then I forgot about it again and it showed up today, so that's cool. Um, okay, so last package, this is from Hudson Equine. Um, one of my favorite places to order Lemieux items from. Um, oh, I'm so excited. And I love they always send these um, little mints, which, you can eat or for your horses. All right. Oh boy. Mm. All right. Yay. So obviously we've got the Lemieux Azure. So I've got those um, to match. I've already got the jump pad, which you will have already seen by the time you're watching this one. And then I got the dressage cut of this. So I got the dressage cut in the Lemieux Azure. Mm, it's so pretty. This color is honestly to die for. Like, I'm obsessed with this color. It's beautiful. Like, absolutely stunning. Um, I love the Loire collection. Honestly, I think I like the Loire collection better than P.S. of Sweden. Although, 
I like like the different colors and the piping and, and whatnot, but I just really like the, the, the quality of the Lemieux Loire. And I love their like little logo. I don't know. I just really love the Loire collection, collection, collection. So got that. And then obviously we've got the bonnets that finally came in to match. And this is in large. So I've got moi. So now I've got the complete Lemieux Azure collection. Um, I will have the Sage collection. I just don't have it yet. Um, I'm waiting for it from Rider Riding Warehouse, I think maybe um and then this actually is the hunter green and extra large it was on sale and i got this because i wanted to use the hunter green like the full set on zeke but i have a medium size bonnet which is like absolutely too small for him but it fits 10 so i got the extra large for zeke and renita because they've got big old heads so this is the extra large bonnet here so got that um that's it that's it that's everything so now i just gotta wait i think everything else is on back order so we'll see when all that comes but otherwise yeah thanks for tuning in sorry this is not again like a normal kelsey tack haul i just i can't i can't do it i don't have time um but that's gonna be ending soon so I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this. If there's anything you think that I absolutely have to have, comment it down below because why not? I like to hear what you guys like to buy too. So I love watching tack hauls. And when I have time, I love watching tack hauls. So if you do tack hauls, comment the link down below so I can go watch them. Yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.